Welcome to Spec World, and we are back again after a long break. Today we've got an exclusive look into the 10 biggest changes of the Samsung One UI 7 updates. At Samsung's annual developer event, the company officially revealed One UI 7, calling it as their biggest UI upgrade in Samsung's history. We got an exclusive hands-on demo, giving us a close-up look at the new features. Samsung also confirmed the release timeline, so we know when to expect it. Let's explore these 10 major updates coming with One UI 7, which is based on Android 15. Before we begin, if you want to get latest updates of smartphones and tech stuff, make sure you like this video, subscribe to channel, activate the notification bell, and watch this video till the end. This way, you won't miss any of our future videos which are packed with valuable information from reliable sources. Without further ado, let's begin. Split Notification Menu The first big change is the Split Notification Menu. Like iOS, Samsung has separated notifications from Quick Settings. Now, swipe down from one side for Quick Settings and from the other for Notifications. Interestingly, Google plans to adopt a similar approach with Android 16 next year. If you're not a fan of the split layout, don't worry. You can still switch back to the original combined view. What do you think about this copycat concept from iOS? Write your opinions in the comment below. Icon redesigns. One of the more noticeable changes is in the icon redesigns. Samsung hasn't touched their icons in years but now they're more vibrant and colorful. The gallery app got a new rainbow gradient behind the flower image, and the camera icon now looks more like an actual camera. Icons for the Galaxy Store, Contacts, Settings, and Phone have also been given a subtle but fresh look, giving the UI a more modern, lively feel. Smoother animations. This is still an early beta, so the improvements aren't super obvious in animations yet, but Samsung said they've made significant upgrades to the animations, making them much smoother. People testing the software are saying it's on par with iOS, which would be huge. If they can deliver on this, it will make One UI 7 feel a lot more responsive and polished. Design refinements. There are some design refinements in this upgrade. Notifications have a rounder look now, and the little arrow for expanding them has moved to the center. Quick settings got some tweaks with a smaller brightness slider and a new volume slider next to it. The overall design has a material use sense, very in line with Google's Pixel UI, and even slightly reminiscent of iOS 18's control center. Oh, and don't miss the pill-shaped battery icon in the status bar. Camera app improvements. Samsung has also revamped the camera app, moving most of the controls to the bottom of the screen for easier one-handed use. Whether you're switching modes or tweaking settings, no more awkward thumb stretches across the screen, which will be super convenient. Multitasking menu redesign. Samsung has also redesigned the multitasking menu, switching to a stack style that was previously available through good lock. This new layout is now the default option and provides a refreshing change. It enhances the multitasking experience by making it cleaner and more intuitive. Smart App Search Bar Placement Speaking of convenience, the app search bar has also been relocated to the bottom, similar to what Apple did in iOS. It's a simple change but a really practical one. No more finger gymnastics when you're trying to search for apps. AI-Powered Gallery Samsung is also integrating AI into the gallery app. Think of it like Google Photos. You will be able to search for photos or specific parts of videos just by describing what you're looking for. Plus, the AI will automatically organize everything, making it super easy to find that random picture you snapped months ago. Continuity across devices. They are also enhancing the Samsung ecosystem with a feature called continuity. This allows users to seamlessly transfer calls between their phone, tablet, and TV with just a simple gesture. This integration represents a significant advancement and greatly improves the overall Samsung experience across devices. Dynamic Island Style Feature 
Another leak suggests that Samsung's working on its version of Dynamic Island, a status bar chip that expands and contracts with animations. It's not on the demo units yet, but sources like Ice Universe say it is coming. It seems Samsung is also doing the copycat of iPhone's Dynamic Island feature. What is your opinion about this copycat action of Samsung? Write in the comment below. So, when is this all coming? Samsung confirmed that the Galaxy S25 will be the first phone to launch with One UI 7, which is scheduled for January. If you're eager to try it out early, the beta program will open up in December. All in all, One UI 7 looks like a major great upgrade. Samsung is focusing on making the interface simpler and more convenient to the users, while giving it a modern visual overhaul. I am super excited about the improved animations. Yes, there are a lot of inspirations from Apple here, but let's be fair. If it makes the user experience better, who cares? Besides, when it comes to software, Apple, Google, and Samsung copy each other all the time, and at the end of the day, it just means better features for everyone. I will be sharing the official features as soon as they come in. So, make sure you have liked this video, subscribe to Spec World channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Now, here is an incredible development on Samsung's S-Series phones. Click here to watch the video, and I will see you there, my friend.